And so what's up mga soy? Welcome back sa channel ko. Sa lahat ng mga bago at hindi pa ako kilala, ako nga pala si Sir Pen ang inyong math teacher. At ngayon, pag-uusapan natin kung paano ba malalaman yung standard equation ng isang parabola given ang vertex, ang focus, or ang directrix. Bago natin simulan ang topic na to, shoutout muna tayo dun sa mga estudyante kong masipag na tumutulong sa akin sa aking remedial program ngayon. Uh, sila Ayen, Christine, Geraldine, at saka si Gabriel. Ito sila. At shout out din sa lahat ng mga volunteers, sa mga peer tutors na tumutulong sa akin dun sa aking remedial program ngayon. Malapakalaking tulong dahil natutulungan ninyo yung inyong mga kaklase dahil naniniwala kayo na kailangan magtulungan para walang maiwan. At paano nga ba natin madidetermine ang standard form ng isang parabola? So I prepared four steps para malaman natin yung standard form ng parabola given ang vertex, ang focus, or yung directrix. So step number one, we have to visualize. Step number two, we have to find C. C is the distance from the vertex to the focus or from the vertex to the directrix. At step number three, identify natin yung equation. Alam nyo na yan, napanood nyo na yan. And step number four, substitution ng vertex dun sa equation ng parabola. At yun. So, tingnan nyo itong mga examples nito. Ayan. So, we are going to find the standard equation of a parabola with the vertex of negative 3, 4 and the focus is 0, 4. So, disclaimer before we start, uh, medyo step-by-step -step process yung ipapakita ko sa inyo. Um, kasi para ito sa aking mga estudyante sa remedial class, shout out sa kanila. Um, para dun sa mga math wizards, so baka medyo mabagot kayo, sana wag kayo mabagot. Okay? So step number one to solve this problem, kailangan muna natin siyang i-visualize. So step one, kailangan natin siyang i-visualize. Kailangan natin malaman nasan ba ang vertex at focus na yan. So negative 3, 4, basically, so 1, 2, 3, negative 3, 4, Ayan. So, ang ating vertex ay nandito. And the focus is 0, 4. So, nandito siya. Ayan. So, ito na yung ating vertex and focus. Step 2. Find C. C is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So, bibilangin lang natin. Mula kay vertex, papunta kay focus ilang unit. So, dito na lang tayo mag-refer sa x-axis. So, mula dito, 1, 2, 3. So, C is equal to 3. Step number 3. Kailangan natin malaman yung kanyang equation. Anong equation yung gagamitin natin? We have four equations depending on the opening of the parabola. So, kailangan natin malaman nasan ba yung opening niya. So, if we have the vertex here and the focus here, so, ang focus lagi nasa loob ng parabola. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating parabola must look like this. Ayan. So, ang opening niya nasa right. Kung, ang, kung nasa right ang kanyang opening, ang, ang equation na gagamitin natin is y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h. And then step number 4, substitute. So kailangan na natin i-substitute yung ating vertex. This is our h and this is our k. So, if this is the equation, so we have y minus k. Anong k natin? Ayun, 4. Quantity squared is equal to 4 times c. Ang c natin ay 3. 4 times 3 times the quantity of x minus h. Ang h natin is negative 3. Ayan. Then, we have to simplify. We have y minus 4. Quantity squared is equal to 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And then, negative-negative magiging positive yan. So, magiging x plus 3 quart. So, this is the standard equation of the parabola whose vertex is negative 3, 4 and the focus is 0, 4. Ayan. So, another similar problem. So, again, the given is the vertex and the focus. So, these are the step-by-step -step process. Pinakita ko na. So, step number 1, kailangan natin i-visualize. So, i-plot natin kung nasan yung vertex. So, that's 4, 4. We have the vertex here. And then, the focus is at 4, 6. So, 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yan. Nandito yung ating focus. And then, 
find C, the distance from the vertex to the focus. Bilangin lang natin gano ba kala yung vertex sa focus. So, 1, 2. So, C is equal to 2. Step number 3, equation. So, para malaman natin yung equation, kailangan muna natin malaman yung opening. So, if the focus is here and the vertex is here, the, open, the opening is upward. So, the parabola opens upward. So, if the parabola opens upward, then the equation we are going to use is x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4 times c times y minus k. Then, step number 4, we have to substitute. So, we have x minus, anong h natin? Ang, ang h natin ay yung 4. This is our h. This is our k. So, x minus 4 quantity squared is equal to 4 times, ilan yung c? 2. So, 4 times 2 times y minus k, y minus k is equal to 4. So, y minus 4. Then, simplify natin, we have x minus 4 quantity squared is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8 and then y minus 4. This is the standard equation. Ayan, so ngayon naman, ang given natin ay vertex and the directrix. So kanina ang given ay vertex and focus, but this time the given is the vertex and the directrix. The directrix is also c units away from the vertex. Okay? So to solve this problem, same steps will be applied. So first is we have to visualize. Kailangan natin i-visualize nasan ba yung vertex at nasan ba yung directrix. Okay? So, negative 2 comma negative 2. So, ito yun. Negative 2 comma negative 2. This is our vertex. And our directrix is y is equal to 0. Minsan, nahihirapan yung mga batang i-plot or i-visualize nasan ba, nasa ba yung y is equal to 0. So, it is a line na tatama sa y-axis dun sa 0. A line passing through the y-axis dun sa 0. So, ibig sabihin, ganito yun. Ito yung 0. Ito yung y-axis, ito yung zero niya. Ano yung line na tatama doon? So, ito yung ating directrix. So, ang directrix natin dito, nakapatong doon sa x-axis. Okay? Then, we have to find C, step number 2. Gano'ng kalayo ang vertex doon sa directrix? So, bibilangin din natin. So, 1. Mula sa directrix, ito yung directrix. So, 1, 2. So, C is equal to 2. And then, we have to find the equation. Anong equation ang gagamitin natin? So, ang directrix ay laging nasa opposite side ng vertex. Okay? Kung ang focus ay nasa loob ng, ng parabola, ang directrix naman ay nasa opposite side ng parabola. So, kung nandito ang ating directrix, ibig sabihin, ang parabola natin naka-opens downward. So, if it is opens downward, therefore, the equation that we're going to use is x minus h quantity squared is equal to negative 4 times c times the quantity of x y minus k. Ayan. So, negative kapag opens downward. Pag opens upward, positive yung dito. Okay? And then, step number 4, we have to substitute. So, ganun lang din. This is our h. This is our k. So, x minus h. Our h in this case is negative 2. Then, my squared is equal to negative 4 times c. c is equal to 2, 4 times 2. Then y minus k is also negative 2. So, negative 2. And then, simplify. x plus 2 quantity squared is equal to negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times y negative negative maging plus y plus 2. This is the standard equation of a parabola whose vertex is negative 2, comma, negative 2 and the directrix is y is equal to 0. Ayan, so ngayon naman para sa ating next example, ang given natin ay yung focus at saka yung directrix. So nagdagdag ako na isang step kaya naging 5 step ito kasi kailangan muna natin ma-identify yung vertex. Okay? So same step, step 1, visualize muna natin nasan ba yung 2, comma, 3 at saka yung x equal 6. So, 2 comma 3. So, 1, 2 comma 3. Ito yun. This is our focus. And then, x equals 6. Isang line na tatama sa x-axis sa positive 6. So, ito lang yun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan. So, yun yung ating directrix. And then, kailangan natin mahanap kung nasan yung vertex. Ang vertex ay nasa gitna lamang ng focus at ng directrix. So, hanapin natin ang gitna nito. 
So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ang gitna niya is nandito. Sa 4, 3. This is the vertex. The vertex is at 4, 3. Ayan. And then, find C. Gano kalayo ang focus sa vertex o kaya ang vertex sa directrix para sa lang naman yun. So, bilangin lang natin 1, 2. So, C is equal to 2. Then, let's identify the equation to be used. Nandito ang focus, nandito ang directrix. So, ibig sabihin, ang opening natin ay it is open to the left. If it's open to the left, then the equation to be used is y minus k, quantity squared, is equal to negative 4c times x minus h. And then we substitute. So we have y minus, ang gagamitin natin yung vertex, ito yung ating h, ito yung ating k. So y minus k, we have 3, quantity squared, is equal to negative 4, times, ano yung sin natin? Ang sin natin is 2, times 2. Then x minus h, which is 4. Then we simplify y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to negative 8 times x minus 4. So this is the standard equation given ang focus at saka directrix. So those are the four easy ways on how we can determine the standard equation of a parabola given the vertex, focus, and the directrix. And hanggang dito na lang ang vlog na to. But before I end this vlog, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, please click the notification bell para ma-notify kayo kapag meron akong mga bagong upload baka makatulong sa inyo to and please share this to students na nahirapan sa mat baka makatulong din sa kanila to at muli ako nga pala si Serpen ang inyong math teacher ang inyong libreng math tutor na laging nagsasabing if you cannot change the world at least make a difference and this is my way of making a difference bye bye